Welcome to a sunny San Francisco Zoo. It's always this sunny, by the way. Um, uh, I'm Tanya Peterson, Director and CEO of San Francisco Zoo and Gardens. And uh, I believe 2020 needed a positive story. And the return of our ringtail lemur to his home is such a story that we needed. It's important for two reasons. One, as an individual, he was an aging wild animal who needed special care, including special medicines like arthritis. While he's back here, he's still agitated, dehydrated, and hungry. We're working with our vet teams and wellness teams to get him back to health. He's socially distancing from his primate family, but we hope to get him returning with his family soon. But just as importantly is his species. The lemur is only born in the island of Madagascar, an island off of Africa. Only 3% of Madagascar's forest remain. It is anticipated that within 20 years, Madagascar will have no trees to support lemurs, and these lemurs will be extinct on the island of Madagascar. It's thus only zoos like San Francisco Zoo who will home and provide habitats for lemurs and other species of Madagascar. So what is so wonderful about this story is that our community came together, our local police officers, our local churches, our local community, to give us the tips to recapture and reunite him in such a special way. Also, our board of directors has committed doubly to this exhibit, the largest outdoor lemur exhibit, and will double its size to have one of the largest Madagascar centers in the world. I'm just so pleased and I thank everybody for their involvement. It was perfect ending. Um, and I guess I need to also thank um, the perpetrator for doing the right thing in the end. So I thank you and welcome to San Francisco Zoo. An officer. Good afternoon. Better? Yes, okay. Um, good afternoon. I'm Lieutenant Scott Ryan, R-Y-A-N, from San Francisco Police Department. I am the officer in charge of the burglary unit. Uh, standing to my left is Sergeant Scott Hom, H-O-M, and he is the lead investigator in this uh, investigation that we've been dealing with for the last couple of days. Um, on the 14th of October, two days ago, we uh, responded out here to investigate the possible theft of the uh, lemur. Uh, we conducted an investigation here uh, with our investigators, with our crime scene uh, personnel. And um, at that point, we then put out information uh, through the press and the public uh, asking for any tips or any information to come into our tip line and then reach out to all our partners and other agencies in, in the hopes of recovering the lemur. Um, fortunately, uh, the following day, the lemur was recovered in a nearby playground in Delhi City. Uh, was safely taken uh, back to the zoo by Delhi City PD and Animal Care and Control. Um, later on that uh, evening, which was actually last night, we were fortunate and able to identify a suspect that was taken into custody in Santa Rosa by Santa Rosa Police Department. I'm sorry, Santa, Santa Rafael Police Department on an unrelated criminal investigation. Um, that suspect was uh, booked into uh, jail in Marin County. And once released on those charges, will be transfer, transferred over to uh, San Francisco County Jail, where he will face charges for uh, the burglary, the theft of uh, Maki. Um, it, it was, I will have to say, it was a collaboration of um, getting information out to the public. We did receive a couple uh, very important tips from our tip line, and all that information was actually corroborated and did help in our investigation, um, as well as our partners in Daly City and in uh, San Rafael, and the communication between all the agencies and the effort to uh, not only, importantly, bring the animal back, but uh, was able to uh, 
identify and take a suspect into custody. Any questions? So, so sure. obviously he was found at the Hopewood Green School in Daly City. He found the suspect in San Rafael last night. What happened? Did he, can you tell us, did he decide to let the lemur go when he saw the news coverage? Explain how that all quite, quite honestly, that information is still being developed. I don't have um, all that information uh, together yet. That's an ongoing investigation. So the time loss between uh, the animal being recovered and the arrest is, is still being looked into. How did you identify the suspect? That's, again, that's part of the ongoing investigation, and I really can't um, get into how we identified him. Motive? Why did we take the lemur? That's a good question. I, I don't have an answer to that. Can you I, give us anything about the suspect? At, at, we're in, at the conclusion of the press conference, um, our uh, PIO will provide you with a name and information, identifying information on the suspect. Can you come a little closer to the mic? Sure. I just, I, what I say, I'm sorry, is that at the end of the press conference, our uh, press liaison officer will provide you with a name and identifying information on the suspect. Can you tell us any tips led to the uh, suspect's arrest? I will say yes, that there was tips that, gave, that did come in that were very useful. Um, that um, Sergeant Holm was able to go out and follow up on and that were uh, definitely part of uh, helping us identify the suspect, yes. Um, can you, what do you think about this, the police agency? This is actually the third time that animals have been stolen from the zoo in the past 20 years. Wallace and I think the howler monkey a few years ago, now this. What do you think? I mean, it, it's crazy, but it's happened before. Sure, and, and you know, as we were just talking as we came in here today, a lot of us grew up coming here as, as children ourselves and, and enjoyed the zoo and, and the, uh, the idea of uh, somebody taking advantage of, of the situation and coming in here and, and taking an animal, it just, it, it really to me is, is uh, it just, I, I don't know, it's, it's, um, it's kind of unbelievable. I just don't, yeah, I, I can't understand it myself. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't have any information of that, of that saying that, no, I don't, no. Why is this a serious crime? Some people might think, oh, it's just a prank or something. Why is this a, you consider, take this very seriously? Well, I, I think that the, the main thing to understand, and I think that this is better for the zoo staff and the, the professionals to, to tell you, but I, we're talking about wild animals here. I mean, the, the people, you know, maybe the idea of, of having them or, or getting one would be, seem like a, you know, a cool thing to do or anything like that, but I think the, the one thing we you know, understand is we're dealing with dangerous animals and um, you, you don't realize, you know, what you're, you're getting yourself into. Does the suspect use bark cutters? What do they use? That's part of our ongoing investigation that I'm just not going to get into the different particular parts of that investigation. Okay, so uh, since we're wrapping up, so I just wanted to thank you, officers. It's not a real ring to lemur. It's a lot safer. I understand. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, you very Thank you much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can we ask you a few questions, especially since you have a little boy who was able to find you in the parking lot? Yeah, uh, sure. Okay. To uh, speak to the caller who uh, cited the lemur, which is identified as Maki later, um, that caller is a San Francisco resident who was able to observe the a lemur at the uh, was a school grounds in Daly City, located on the unit block of San Fernando Way. So the caller was an, a, a male. Um, excuse me, a adult, not a child. Tanya, I was just wondering if you wanted to thank him. I've, I've interviewed the family, and I have video of the little boy spotting the, the lemur. Yeah, I'm sure you're interviewed. You weren't aware of him to see or not on our way, um, but we thank him. You know, can you step up to the microphone just to thank the community and thank the, the school. Okay. Well, uh, we thank Hope Lutheran Church, uh, particularly one of their employees who called both us and the police, and the tip was legitimate, and watched the lemur as we approached. Uh, we are making a donation to that church and giving them the $2,100 reward as a thank you. I understand there is a young boy there who witnessed this and also called on the tip, and uh, we are giving his family a free membership to the zoo. So again, I thank our community for coming together uh, as quickly as they did. Um, they literally saved a life. Um, and thank you, gentlemen, for your work, too.